sometimes when we're working, there's so many choices and trying to figure out what to do, when to do it. Uh, we tend to try a lot of things and add it all into uh, one picture. You know, we're painting, we got all these colors and we have all these shapes or we need realistic things and lines. And, you know, it's sort of like, well, that's not looking so good. I'll just keep throwing, throwing things in and in and in. But sometimes we just can forget that when you keep it really simple, it makes it possible for people to see uh, things more easily because there's not so many things. So the things that people can see, they see it really better. And when they do, they get a feeling from that. So this is kind of about editing, but it's also kind of about a powerful thing that you don't think of as being a powerful thing. But if you set it up right, it can be pretty amazing to look at. And it's called overlap. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so if you have a picture, and, you know, let's say I'm um, being really simple here and I, I just have a couple little, I have a little things here, um, some different shapes on here. And that could be any kind of picture, right? But I'm just putting for to all intents and purposes, just some things on here. And I'm putting things in different places in the picture. And this is you know, it's kind of cool, kind of fun, right? Um, and you can have lots of big things, you can have different designs, you know, all kinds of things happening here. So I'm just putting some different things on here. And now, so this, this is kind of great, right? There's lots of things to look at. We're just getting going. There's different things in different places and, and all that. But here's the thing, bringing in overlap, bringing in things that are on top of things, especially once it's all dried. Um, let me just show you how powerful that can be. This can be something that can really change the quality of what you're looking at. It gets really exciting um, quite quickly when you're able to start doing that. Now you have to have things in the background or things on one layer, of course, and that's what I just did. But if I come in with um, another shape, let's say I have this kind of light yellow shape, um, and I put something in front of something else, this becomes kind of a whole new thing. Because now there's things behind things. I'll do another one here. And there's things in front of things. And we're starting to get depth. You see what's happening. Just doing this, just remembering that this is like a little secret weapon, that you can come in and do this on your work. Look at what's happening. See how rich it's becoming by playing with that overlap. And it's easy, you just look at an area that doesn't have any overlap and you can kind of come in and add a little something that's overlapping. And it just looks kind of amazing, right? It happened there too. Look, and now I can have overlap on top of overlap on top of overlap. Things are getting richer and more complicated, but it's not because I have some master plan. It's because I'm playing around with overlap. So don't forget this amazing little, you know, this little concept because it makes art and it makes it look good in a hurry.